Tal Ben Shahar is well known throughout the world for his work in positive psychology. Dr. Tal Ben Shahar. Actually, it's called positive psychology. Positive psychology is uh, the study of life flourishing, the study of happiness, the study of well-being. What positive psychology does is create a bridge between the ivory tower and the main street. It brings the rigor of the academic research from those libraries and makes it accessible. The average academic journal article is read by seven people. And that includes the author's mother. <laughs> Positive psychology is not just about let's all feel good. It's about focusing on what works and helping our most difficult challenges. Traditional psychology mostly focuses on psychopathology, depression, anxiety, fear, anger, many of the painful emotions. Whereas positive psychology mostly, not only, but mostly focuses on love, happiness, relationships, job satisfaction, well-being. Why is that important? If you look at all the misery in the world, so much unhappiness. If you can teach young people in any way how to be happy, then I think we have a duty to do so. I love positive psychology and I love teaching. I can't wait to get up in the morning. Just get to my computer, go on Psych Info, read the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, go on Google Image, find pictures, write the lecture, come to class. I can't wait till Tuesday and Thursday because that's when I get to share with you the things that I care about most. Dr. Ben Chahar tells me his great reward is teaching kids, but it's never better than one or two years down the line when he gets a call from a former student who tells him I am happy in my life in part because of things that I learned in your class. As a group, how many of you has it changed your life? All of you say it's changed your life? Yeah. yeah. No, I spent um, close to 30 years of my life being successfully unhappy. There's so much pressure in our culture today to be happy, to feel good, to put in a smile. So I was doing well in athletics, I was doing well socially, I was doing well in school, and yet I was not happy. We need to accept ourselves, to give ourselves permission to be human. You know, we think, well, what's wrong with me if, if I'm unhappy, if I'm sad? Well, there's something wrong with me if I'm not sad or unhappy at times. For every one article on happiness, there are 21 articles on depression. Now, positive psychology is not saying, you know, let's reverse that ratio. What it is saying, though, is let's shift the pendulum. Let's also focus on what works. Even in difficult circumstances, there's always something that works. How can you learn to be happy? There are certain tips, certain ideas, certain um, exercises that we can do and become happier. Make a list of the things for which you're grateful and do it regularly and do it mindfully. Think about the family, the friends, the work. Simplify your life. Say no to something so that you can say yes to yourself. Breathe. Breathe deeply. You know, we're in such a hurry, we don't have time to take deep breath. What went well today? Uh, what's your favorite movie? What do you recommend? exercise. Physical exercise has a very powerful effect on our well-being. Ask, what is most meaningful to me in the world? Mm -hmm. What uh, do I enjoy most? What am I good at? And then answering these questions, finding the overlap among meaning, 
pleasure and strength. So let's do an exercise. How many geometric shapes can you count on the next screen? All right, any offers? 35, 45, 45, 50. Do I hear a 55? No. Eight, seven. I have no idea how many geometric shapes there are. <laughs> Sorry. I have another question for you. What time was it on the clock in the picture? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's exactly 1% of the people here. What happened? You didn't focus on it. Through the question, I focused you on something entirely different. Another part of reality. You know, the million dollar question in the ultimate currency is how do we attain, how do we enjoy lasting change? There are very few interventions that actually work. Mindfulness meditation does. Why is it so effective? Because it focuses on the ABC of change. Effective, behavioral, and cognitive. So I'd like you to draw here, if you can, you're ready for this, a circle. That's amazing, I must say. And if you could draw that circle as you drew it when you were three years old, Draw a circle as you think you draw it when you were one year old. <laughs> Could you have gotten to this stage to drawing such beautiful circular circles without having drawn hundreds and thousands of such failures? No way. Learn to fail or fail to learn. Who has ever gotten a job and said, okay, now I've got the job, I don't need to work anymore? Whereas in the context of relationship, it very often is the case. But in the workplace, people go in, they get a job, and they have to prove themselves. They have to work hard. They have to invest. And it's the same in relationships. So Charles asked me, so what are you doing this semester? What are you teaching? So I told him, I'm teaching two classes. One on positive psychology, which is essentially the psychology of happiness, the science of happiness. And uh, the second class I'm teaching is on the psychology of leadership. So he said, oh, I see. So you're teaching one class on happiness and one class on unhappiness. <laughs> I, I didn't like that, actually. Um, so what I did was created a hybrid, sort of positive psychology, positive leadership because I think leadership can be fun. Goals can and ought to be liberating. In other words, a long-term goal liberates me to enjoy the here and now, the process. The misunderstanding of the appropriate role of goals explains partially why so many highly successful people are unhappy. Once I become famous, once I become rich, once I get this promotion, then I'll be happy. And then they get there. And what do they find out? That there is no there there. Goals are means. Present experiences are ends. The thing that was most important about this class was the idea that you can really create your own happiness. But you can always improve your life and make yourself better off and look back and say that I've made progress from where I was before. Learning about how laughter and gratitude really do a positive effect on people. The ability to enjoy the here and now. If you want to be happy, you have to start now. You have to start today. So with the three question method, I've been able to do activities that I enjoy. It doesn't matter where I am, as long as I'm thinking the right way, I can make myself happy. So Tal, thank you, thank you. I want to thank you. Each and every one of you is a wonder. Each and every one of you is an entire world in the making. In the making the world, your world, and our world a better place. So thank you. <laughs>